Hello, uh, my name is Kyle Talkach and I'm volunteering for the Boys and Girls Club. So today we are going to do the magic milk experiment. And this is one you can easily do at home. All you'll need is a bowl of milk, food coloring, dish soap, and a cloth Q-tip. Or instead of a cloth Q-tip, you can use a straw with a paper towel attached to the end of it. That works well too. And if you don't have milk, you just need a liquid that has fat in it and is at room temperature. And I'll explain why uh, after I show you the experiment. Um, and I'll also explain the science after the demo. For this experiment, the things that you will really need are some dishwashing liquid. Any brand is fine. A cloth Q-tip. Or you can use a paper towel connected to a straw. You don't actually need the product. Different colors of food coloring. You can use whatever you want. And a bowl that has milk in it that's filled approximately halfway. Now, you don't need to use milk if you don't have actual dairy cow milk, but it does need to have fat in it. And I'll explain why later. But you just have to use some substitute that has some portion of fat in a liquid. I also have this circle uh, cylinder. Um, egg holder that I have for my pan. That's not required, but you can put different shapes and like cookie cutters in the milk and it will separate the colors and be kind of fun. If you don't have that, it's okay, but it's just an add-on. Okay, so here we go. We're gonna put drops of food coloring in the bowl. Then ever so gently, you're just going to take a little bit of soap, not too much, just enough to coat the cloth Q-tip, and you're going to put it on the die. Now I'm not going to talk during this next part so you can see what happens. Eventually, it will just stop, like this. And that's it. Pretty cool, right? So the reason it's called magic milk is because after you put the, the dish soap on top of the food coloring, the food coloring swirls all over the place uh, in the bowl, and it makes this really cool design. This is because the fat in the milk, which are a bunch of molecules, and molecules are just the building blocks of any living thing or non-living thing, um, it holds the food coloring in place. So the fat acts like a basket and it keeps the food coloring in those little clumps that you saw um, during my demo. However, when you add the dish soap, that soap breaks down the fat molecules in the milk, making the food coloring uh, kind of um, pour over um, out of the baskets, like baskets and all around into the milk. And so that's what makes the really cool designs. Well, I hope you enjoy uh, doing this experiment at home and thank you for watching. Bye.